This was on my doorstep. It said, sorry, got sent to wrong apartment. And it's open. So I hope whoever got this didn't touch it. Olive, have you been watching puppies all day? Huh? She's been watching these puppies all day on TV. But she's been being really good, just sitting on her bed watching them. Okay, look what it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's Little Scout's diaper bag. <laughs> I can't wait to get it all open. You wanna chew up some cardboard? That's your favorite part of getting packages, huh? Okay, well while she tears that up, let me show you guys this diaper bag. So I went with black and white, of course, you know me, everything in here is black and white. <laughs> so it's a JJ Cole bag. This one is called the Caprice. I really liked this one. So it has a nice big pocket here on the front. So this pocket, I can put like my cell phone in here, some cards, I could put my whole wallet in here if I wanted to. So that's easy for me to get to and find. It has these two huge pockets on the sides, on either side, for like sippy cups or bottles, whatever. On the inside it has these bags where you can put like diapers and stuff in here, and then it's just a big space in the middle. This is super cute, I think. Comes with a little like diaper changing pad. So if we're out in public, I can whip that out and change little Scout right there. Is that cool? I love that it matches the diaper bag. And that just goes in a pocket back here. And then, something else that made me excited to buy this bag was these stroller straps that it comes with. Stroller attachments. So these things clip on to the bag right here, and then the grips kind of like fold over. They fold over like this around your stroller bar, and then your purse or your diaper bag can just hang from the back of your stroller. So I'm super excited and our stroller is on its way. So we'll get to see what the diaper bag and the stroller look like together pretty soon. I'm so excited, I love it. Oops, well I fell asleep for like probably two hours. <laughs> Did you enjoy our nap, Olive? Huh? I think I just needed one of those days where I like do nothing but sleep. I slept, I didn't watch any of the Super Bowl, none of it. I slept through the whole thing. Um, yeah, I just needed a nap, I don't know. I've just been sleeping really bad at night. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to get really uncomfortable at night, so I was tired. But I have things to do, oh my gosh. And it's four, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Okay, so Josh gets off of work in an hour. I was supposed to go to Costco and Walmart before he gets home. And that only gives me like an hour and 15 minutes. So I gotta get my button gear, get some stuff done. We need groceries for dinner tonight, so. All right, I'll be right back. It is my lucky day. I found a spot on the first floor. I never find parking spots on the first floor. But I got all my goods. So, let's go. What are you doing? Making dinner for once, what? In, my life. For once in my life. You're what? Can you say that again real slow so we can hear it? Making dinner. <laughs> are you gonna put your full effort into it? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna touch some raw meat? I have no problem touching raw meat. I've never had a problem touching raw meat. All right, well you got, what, some onions in the pan? What are you making? Making the only meal I know how to make, barbecue chicken. Olive, what are you doing? Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, you already got a big box. 
She's had too fun of a day, too much things. Paula thinks that every empty box you can just chew up. Well guys, I'm done with work. Had to work on Super Bowl Sunday. Luckily, my team didn't make it, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And the game was kind of, I don't know, we, we got to, I got to see some at my lunch break and whatever. So congratulations to the Seahawks. They destroyed the Broncos. I don't know if they necessarily destroyed the Broncos, if the Broncos kind of just didn't do well. Kind of stinks for Peyton Manning because, I mean, he's still one of the best quarterbacks. I think they said he's like number top five of quarterbacks. Um, I've never really been a Manning fan. But not because I don't like him, I just never was a big fan. So, anyways, but it was cool. I think Bruno Mars did a pretty good... I, have, I saw someone said, uh, that was a pretty boring, or what did they say? Like, that was a pretty boring football game during the Bruno Mars concert or something. <laughs> like, saying that the, he was better than, like, the game. Yeah, it was kind of cool because he, he was with, uh, um... What do you call the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? Did a thing with them, so that's like two different, way two different types of music. Than they All right, my hands killing me. You gotta get some vlogging oh, muscles. Chicken juice. You gotta get some vlogging muscles. Don't drop that knife on your foot; uh -huh. it'll cut it right off. Oh, I know. So I made my homemade barbecue sauce right here. So stinking good. And then I'm just gonna pour it over the chicken. And there's onions down there under the chicken, too. So good. This is one of my favorite meals. It's definitely like a comfort food. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. So after dinner, well, we ate dinner, and then after dinner we were like, oh my gosh, we need to do laundry, and it's already 8 o'clock, what do we do? So we hurried, and we did two loads of laundry. Of course, the one of the washing machines broke when it was washing our load, so it didn't spin. So all of our towels, we did two loads of towels, and one load was completely soaked. So Josh tried to wring them all out before putting them in the dryer, but nothing, they didn't dry. So they're hanging in the bathroom drying. It's late, well, it's not that late. It's 10.30, but I wanna go to bed early. Josh isn't really feeling too good, so I don't know. Hopefully he's not getting too sick, but I think we're gonna call it a night kind of early tonight. Thumbs up this video so Josh will feel better, and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is our dilemma. The wall that I wanna put the curtains is 11 and a half feet long. I'm not paying for no curtain rod that's 11 and a half feet long,